So I am going to show you today how to easily set up an Airtable to essentially run your entire music business off of, to keep you organized and to make sure that you're on track with your budgets or your booking endeavors or whatever it is you want to track. I'm going to give you a simple outline that I use. If you look in the download section, you can see the CSVs that I exported for you as well. But other than that, just follow along and I'll hopefully give you a nice outline of how you could build your own database. So the far left, I have target brainstorm. I think this is useful to really go back on when you are struggling to know who you should target, whether it's ads or it's actual um, commenting and following the similar pages. So. You could just put an artist name here that you sound like. Just list all of this from maybe your Spotify or some other statistics that you get. Honestly, you can just use this as a brain dump to kind of brainstorm potential artists as well. You can set up, uh, I set up a link. So you would just add their Facebook link or the, the artist Instagram link. You can see here, you can add other ones if you want. So, um, you can add a single line text, long text, attachment, check boxes even, uh, multiple select, which I'll show you that in another section. Single select, date, phone number, pretty much anything you can imagine, you can set that up so it's expecting that so you can easily be organized and get back to it. So the second tab up here at the top is budget. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think this is a really great one to help you track what you're spending and what you're bringing in because a lot of artists skip this part they it's, the budgeting is not fun but to really hone in on the business you need to be able to track this and to make sure that you're not going in the red on anything let alone anything that isn't bringing back any green at all so you might need to relook at that so i have the name so it would just be let's say um website domain that's the, that's the date. So I have it set up. So whatever, you know, the receipt is the expense, you'd be minus $50. You'll see the total will update over here as well. And if you scroll over, I have just a note section for just some, you know, let's say GoDaddy. And it came from your PayPal, anything like that to remind you where it came from, how it was paid for. And the month and the year section, this is really cool, color coded, really great um, so that you can actually sort it by month, which I'll do in just a moment. So I'm going to say January 2019 because it's the first one there. So then you go in and you add all of your, let's say, royalties. Date. This time you'll do uh, income, say $300. So that was also done in January 2019, for instance. So now you just add some more as they come in, as you get receipts, as you get invoices paid for, update them right here. And then you're going to go up here to group. You can group by any section, but we're going to do month and year. So now if you see, these will be, since I only entered a couple of these, it will actually set it up for us per month. And if you look at the bottom, it'll also show you what that month was in expenses and in income and in total um, profit. So it'll do all of this math for you. I love this because I hate math. I hate figuring it out. I still count on my fingers. I like it when it's all set up. Always go and double check. It's always good to double check, but it's great that you can have this set up. It's a template. You just plug in everything and you can really see what you're spending your money on. Um, this is the foundation of a business before you get a manager involved. You're going to make sure you, you this makes sense and you're not negative 500 every month because then a manager likely won't want to jump on board. So you have to be that manager right now. So get this budget figured out and be meticulous with it. And you can actually start to see your business grow. So the next section at the very top is releases. This is just one that I experimented with, with an artist I work with. And it's actually really useful, especially for him, because he has so much music. He has a lot of releases. We've been doing singles releases for the past year and a half. 
but that just means a lot of data, a lot of codes, a lot of split sheets, a lot of everything. Don't worry, I downloaded this as well. You're gonna have this template. It's pretty long, but this will hold all of the information you would ever need for your, um, your releases, whether it's a whole EP or it's just a single, whatever it is. And you can always add more if, you, if, you, if there's a couple that you wanna tweak. So right here would be, you know, the song name. You would add the producer, producer's name right here. I have an attachment field, which you can press the plus button and literally attach the song. This is where I would put all of your instrumentals, uh, the show tracks, any kind of other tracks that you want. Add those pictures, whatever, you know, album artwork, the split sheets themselves. This is where you add all of this stuff for this release. That way it's all in one spot and you don't have to worry about it. Always good to have a Dropbox as well, back up your data, but that way you know exactly where to go to to get anything you'd need. I added this product, or I'm sorry, this progress um, tab and I set up to set up options. I'll show you real quick. You're gonna press that arrow and you're gonna say customize field type and see the colored options. I already added those these in, mastered, in mastering, in mixing, writing in process, released, you can add that you just got the beat. You can add some things in here as well, really easy. You just add another option, pick a new color, boom. So let's say this one is it's, it's getting mas mastered. It's almost done. Release date, we don't have that yet. S uh, splits, you know, this is where you would do, you know, 50% artist, 50% artist two. Any kind of notes just to jog, jog your memory, but this isn't in stone. You need a split sheet. You need just some kind of document with signatures that's saying what you guys agree to your percentages. And I would put that in the attachment section as well. Um, Song Trust, so this is the publishing admin. Um, if you have one, you can delete these if they, you know, if you don't need them. But this tells me, yes, it's been submitted to this particular um, agency that is collecting royalties for us. So I don't have to worry about it. It's just telling me, yes, you've submitted it so I don't forget. Sound Exchange is another one um, for digital royalties. Any kind of notes, uh, tweak vocals, any kind of notes in terms of production or post-production, whatever it is. Um, the URL, when it's finally released, I create a smart URL that has the one track for Apple Music, Tidal, YouTube, um, SoundCloud, whatever. And I usually put that main link right here. So it's set up to already be a link. It's expecting a link so you can just click it when it's time. UPC is gonna be through your um, distributor, same as the ISRC. You're gonna get those from your distributor and plop them right here. It's just a good code to have for all of your releases. The BMI work uh, or ASCAP work uh, identification number, it's always good to have handy as well. Um, just if you have any sync placements or you just, you don't have to go back and log into BMI. I just like to plop it all here. So it's really, really easy to find. Pandora AMP, it's a, it's a program that Pandora has that you can submit to their playlist. It's totally free. So this reminds me, hey, have you done that? So I added that as well. And you can add a sheet for your lyrics. You could just copy and paste them all here, or you can create a Word document and, and add them here. So with this, it is everything you would need for a release in my mind. If you want more, um, add more. If you want to delete these, have at it. But it's a good platform to stay organized for all of your releases. Booking, this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, venue, contact, name, the email, phone number, notes. And when's the last time you contact, contacted them? This is really important. If you go back here and you're like, I haven't contacted them in a year, you need to stay in contact, say what's up, ask them if they have anything going on, anything that you can help with. Um, a good manager knows how to stay connected, whether it's, hey, I heard you had a baby, you know, send me a picture. It's all about creating connections. So add that there and you'll start to see those connections get, get deeper and deeper. I mean, kind of a, a extra attachments. If you guys want to add another um, field, Again, you just write, press the add field button and select between any of these. There's a whole bunch of stuff, the formula, um, URL, yeah. 
And the last thing I have on here is press, pretty much the same as booking, but I've separated the two. So any kind of blogs, any kind of playlists, um, you can you can make a whole new tab for playlists, but in, in basically anything moving forward, it's gonna be similar to this, I would think. So you would just duplicate it by pressing this arrow and pressing duplicate table. You can duplicate all of the records or just keep it blank. Boom, duplicates it. You can go up and rename it playlists. Spelled that wrong. Cool. So I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of Airtable. See, it's not that scary. Databases can be really, really overwhelming, but I hope that this kept it really simple for you and you can start to create a foundation for your music business through Airtable.com. And I'll also include a referral link if you want to upgrade. They have extra options. Um, you don't have to, but I got a referral there in case you really like it and you upgrade just like us. Thanks.